Part D. Question asks, given that the variance for the project is 9.1, what is the probability the project will be completed in 27 days? Now, in order to do this question, first thing to do is to draw the de to draw a normal distribution, which looks like this. So far, what we have learnt from doing the question, the expected completion time to complete the project is 28 days. Now really what that 28 days means is that it's the expected time or the mean time. It means that there's really a 50-50 chance that the project will be completed in 28 days. Now, based on a normal distribution, your mean time is your 28 days that you just found. It means that the project can be completed in 28 days or less. If you completed the project in 27 days, that is still part that it did get completed in 28. So anything between 28 or less means that it was completed. So when I have here mean is 28, it means that there's a 50-50 chance it's going to be completed in 28 days. But if the actual project finished on the 27th day, it's still part of that 28. The question here is asking, what is the probability of the project being completed in 27? Now, if the mean time is 28, 27 is on this side of the curve. So, they want to know what is the probability of the project being completed in 27 days. It means that if the project got completed on the 26th day, that is also included in this 27. So really what you want is to find out what is the area, what is this area here? That means 27 or less will give you what the probability of the project being completed in 27 or less days. We found, as I said from the question, we found our expected time. Our expected time mu is 28 days. That is a 50-50 chance of the project being completed in 28 days. Means this part of the curve. We want to find out in this question what is the probability of the project being completed in 27 days. Now, we are given that our variance sigma squared is 9.11. This is the variance. Now, there is a formula here that says z equals x minus mu on sigma. Now, if the variance is sigma squared is 9.1, sigma would be the square root of 9.11, which is 302 now this sigma here is what they call standard deviation. Standard deviation. Now the formula for z says x minus mu on sigma. We know what mu is, we know what x is, we know what sigma is. So z equals x 27 minus mu 28 on sigma, which in this case is 3.02 equals 1 over 3.02, which means that z is equal to approximately 0 0.33. Now, in the back of your exam book, you will see a z distribution table. Now this should be also minus. All it means is that the area is on the left hand side of the curve. Now if we look at the back of the exam paper or the back of your textbook, appendix A, we see a table marked areas for standard normal distribution. Our z value is 0 0.3 
or minus 0 0.3. I'll explain the minus after, but 0 0.3. So what we need to do is to come in the table and look for 0 0.33. 3. Now looking in the table 0 0.33, right? The area that refers to 0 0.33 gives us a, let me just show you here, right? Let me just show you. Based on our, what the table is showing us here in our textbook is this area here. It's showing us an area for 0 0.3. 0 0.13. What this is showing us is that the, this area which is shaded is equal to 0 0.293 for a Z of, for Z of 0 0.33. This is what this table is actually showing you. Now, how does this relate to this question here? Because this curve is symmetric, what you have just found is equivalent to the area on this side of the table going this way. This area here is this area here. Sorry, what I just said was the area that you have just found is actually this area here. The area equivalent to this side is actually that part. So what it's saying, it's a little bit confusing when you get the minus here, but what, what is actually, you have actually found by finding this total here, you've actually found this area here on this side. All right, we'll go over it again. We'll go over it again, but what we ha what we know is that from here to here, right? This is the twenty-eight. This is there's a fifty percent chance of zero point five chance of it being completed in twenty-eight days. When we have found our Z table, because there's a minus there, we have found the equivalent part that is this area here. So by doing the Z table, what we have actually found, because it's minus, we have actually found the area to the left of the curve, which is this area in red. Now if you know that area in red is equivalent to this, zero point, so this area here is zero point one two nine three. If you know this part is zero point one two nine three, we know this whole area is that. What we wanted to find out is this here. That area there. Now if you know this is zero point five and this is zero point one two nine three, the area that we're looking for is zero point five minus zero point one two nine three, which equals 37, which is 0 0.3707, right? Which is equal to 37.07%. Okay, what this is telling you is that the probability of the project being completed in 27 days is 37.07%. Remember, the probability for 28 days is 50%. Now, what I want you to do as part of an exercise, I want you to find out what is the probability of the project being completed in 29 days. So, what I want you to find out, work out now for yourself, is what is the probability that your project will be completed in, so this is your further work, I want you to find out what x equals say 29 and another example I want you to work out is x equals 26. This is your exercise now to do, is to practice what is the probability of the project being completed in 29 or less days and also again what is your probability of the project being completed in 26 or less days. The principle is about the same.